Hello, everybody. My name is Gabriel, and I'm feeling to. I'm feeling at seeing uh, people and objects, and I want to tell you about how it all began. It all began uh, when I was around four years old, uh, when my parents uh, realized uh, there was something wrong with my eyes, and they thought uh, I got a squint. And at the fat first, they gave me classes, uh, and I did that for two years. Um, then they finally decided to consult a doctor, and when I f and there I finally got diagnosed with chronic uveitis, which I want to talk more about later on. <clears throat> I don't remember how it's like to see. What I do remember is there was a time when I was a child, where I could read on a piece of paper with my glasses on, this far from my face. And my sight didn't just go from okay to what it is today in a heartbeat. It took many years, um, lots of medicine, uh, 12 operations. I actually got operated last month and took a lot of patience from my parents too. Um, Ovetis is a chronic uh, illness that can cause severe damage to the eye tissue. Normally, it only affects one of the eyes, but in my case, um, they got the both because it, uh, the doctors didn't realize it was too late for me. Yeah. <clears throat> there was around 253 uh, million people that live with um, visual impairment, and, uh, three, and uh, 36 of them, uh, 36 million of them are blind. 217 of them are severe visual uh, impaired, and 81% um, of those that are either are blind or have severe vision impairment uh, are above the age uh, 50. Um, globally, um, wait a second. Globally, uh, chronic eye diseases uh, is the main cause for um, visual impairment in the world. And um, uncorrected refractive uh, error is, um, along with non not operated cataract, the two main um, causes of. Uh, <coughs> Visual impairment in the world. Non cataract, uh, furthermore, non operated cataract is also the main reason for visual impairment um, in poor countries. So, how do I navigate around in my daily life? First, I want to tell you a bit about the school. I have this laptop here. Um, there's nothing really special about it, besides um, there is a program on it called JAWS. It can speak in many different languages, such as Danish, English, French, Spanish, Russian, for that matter. Um, it can also uh, read out loud home pages and documents and I would try, if you can hear it, to give you an example of it. Um, do, do, do. Okay, can you hear anything? Google Chrome 
As you can hear, uh, it takes a while for me to navigate a around on the home pages. Take one more. Everything is um, more time-taking for me. Um, both of the laptop, um, my homework and assignments, but also when I'm just going around in my daily life and uh, take a lot of patience. Um, but I navigate around uh, with the little side I have left and I'm trying to um, locate if there is any blurry object in front of me. Sometimes it works. Sometimes I walk directly into a lamppost. I have done that many times. I have lost count of it. It hurts. Um, but I also got this lovely cane here. I use that to feel the texture of where I'm going, or see if there's, um, there's something I can go into, or to see if there's something I can fall down to. I also have sometimes when I have to go somewhere I haven't been before, or I get lost, then I will use uh, Google Maps on my phone. But sometimes there isn't any internet connection or my phone is dead. Try and imagine you being alone out in the forest. You have never been there before. It's, mm, sunset, you're alone, nobody knows you're there. You have any idea how to get home. That was me. I've done that too many times. So I walked for hours trying to get home and uh, in the hope of finding some friendly soul that could help me, uh, point me in the right direction. And finally I did. I met this lovely old lady who pointed me in the right direction. I'm glad for that. <laughs> um, so what, what I want to tell and uh, this story is, I can't really um, go around uh, in my daily life without um, the help from you guys. Uh, I also navigate um, with my ears and sound. Normally, you would recognize people um, by their faces, but I, I do it by their voice. It takes longer time for me. It could take months, actually. But when it's there, I will remember it. It's um, really difficult for me to find uh, people I know if there is really much noise in the environment around me, uh, or if just many people are um, saying 
stuff at the same time. It's also very difficult to meet somebody if they're being totally quiet. So I think I'm alone, so yeah, it's nice. Okay. One f <clears throat> there is one thing I really find scary, and that is um, when, when I'm just walking around by myself, and there's somebody in front of me or next to me, behind me, and I don't know who they are. I would really like to know who they are. I, I can't see their faces. I can't recognize them at all. So if they don't say anything to me and just maybe smile, perhaps a bit awkwardly, um, I wouldn't notice. So if people don't say anything to me, I, wouldn't, I don't know who they are. They could, they could be totally strangers for me, even though I know them. And that's really scary, at least for me. I have experienced people being anxious, too anxious to confront me directly about, oh, you're blind? How is that? Um, I have met some people, very few, that have done it. And I really appreciate when people do that. But most of the time, they either um, ask my friends when I'm not there, and that's totally understandable, that's okay. But when, what is not okay is when people walk over to me and one of my friends and randomly ask my friend um, about me when I'm there. Um, it feels like I'm not important. I'm not a human being in a way. And it feels like I'm just, yeah, I'm unable for myself to speak. And I think that's a general problem. I, I know some other clients that have experienced the same. Um, and I don't think it's only a problem of the blind community. I also think it's a problem with general handicapped people. And I think that's a shame. I don't mind people asking me questions about my blindness. Um, I, I, would say, um, I have more than motto, whether I ask too much than too little, and life is too short to wearing um, matching socks.